Hi everyone, it is me, Corey Summers, your local luxury realtor. Today I'm here with Tamara from Fidelity Title. We're gonna talk about some trends that's happening right now in title insurance. Stay tuned. So I wanna thank you for joining me this morning. We are here in Studio City at Aroma Cafe, one of our favorite little spots. If you don't come for coffee and tea, we highly recommend you do. So this is a little coffee tea morning here. And uh, we're just gonna talk a little bit about title. And with Fidelity Insurance, you guys are one of the largest title companies in America, correct? Correct. Fidelity Title is the largest title company in the nation, actually. Okay. So, the breakdown or, or the basics of title is to protect a buyer and a seller, correct? And, and what reasons do people need protection? Because I feel like sometimes my clients are like, why do I need title? <laughs> we get that question all the time. So, it's there to protect the buyer and the seller to make sure of any liens and encumbrances, um, when you're transferring a property from one seller to a buyer. Okay. What are some of the things that you're seeing these days when it comes to title? I mean, I feel like there's always kind of like a trend. Maybe it's because people are downsizing and so you're seeing certain things, or maybe there's like a, a huge movement of people that just bought and are selling quickly, or maybe suddenly it's people living out of state. What kind of trends are you seeing when it comes to title insurance and what you guys are finding in your title search? That's a good question, actually. So what we're finding is, is that an agent, when they go to take a listing, they'll call me and they'll say, Tamara, I'm talking to the seller and I just looked up their property profile online and this is not the person that's showing on title. That's never good. No, it's, it's not. It's yeah, not good. It's never good. And what that means is, that means it's a wild deed. That means somebody went down, and we're seeing this as a trend now, somebody went down and they recorded a deed on someone else's property, falsely. And just so you know, you can really do that. Yeah, you can. Um, it's you know, it's illegal, but you can do it. So it's very important to make sure that they check with you at least once a year, kind of like checking your credit. And you should have her run your title. So at least just just your your vesting, just to make sure that you're still on title. If there's any problems, um, you'd be shocked to know that you actually have to contact the police department, and then more than likely get an attorney. So it's sad, but we have to actually pay to get someone who put something wrong on a house that we bought. But it's part of part of what's going on right now. Wow, so this is kind of like the new fraud. Yes, it is. <laughs> now, Very well if fought. someone puts themselves on title, could they in turn somehow get that house? Like, is, is there a real, like, there's a real potential problem here? Right? Yes, there is, and that is the best question I've ever been asked. Um, yes, they can. So what happens is, when they put it on there at first, there's no, it's not that there's no problem. I mean, there's a problem, obviously, because there's the owner. You can't sell it until that's taken off. But if they put it on there one time, but then if they put it on there and they sell it to someone else, then you have a big problem. So l let me kind of think about this for a second because my mind is a little bit blown here. So someone sure. can just randomly put themselves on your title. You own a $5 million home in the hills, right? A home that you've saved up for, it's a beautiful home. It's like your dream home, right? Yeah. Someone can literally go register and add themselves to your title. And then with that, they can turn around and and do other nefarious acts such as sell your home or can they get possession of your home? They can't get possession and I haven't seen them get possession yet. I can't say they can't. I haven't seen that happen yet. But what will happen is, yes, we're seeing this as a, as a, as a trend right now and I'm seeing it more in the last two years than I've ever seen it in the 30 years I've been entitled. And what's happening is they put the deed on there, so anyone can go down and record, which is shocking to me. They can record a deed onto your property. I just had one two years ago on a $68 million property. And when they went to sell it, the agent called me and said, Tamara, something's wrong. I've got you know the other agent on the phone, and they say they're looking at the title, and it's not showing who, we, who the owner is. And when I looked it up immediately, it looked like chicken scratch. It looked like a five grader wrote it. But sure enough, they put it on there. And that took over six months to get off. And there was attorneys involved and many attorneys involved. And it was not easy. The person kept filing back on us. And it was a lot of work. But of course, it ended up coming off. I mean, they go to court and a judge sees it. But it's not like just it doesn't happen as easily as people think. So. I try to do a, an update for my clients every year on their property value. And I think you were mentioning earlier, so it's a good idea to also pull 
what, what, what exact title record is a good idea to maybe send with that, just for, so our clients are being updated and, and really have current information? Well, when you, as it pertains to the deeds and their vesting of their home, then you would get what you normally ask for is um, a cover sheet which shows their name and, and vesting, and then you also want a deed showing their actual vesting. I would be doing a date down for you, and we will make sure that nothing has been recorded on that property. Okay. So, you know, typically when you're thinking about selling your home, as your listing agent, we go and we do a prelim on your title. and. and you know, we talk to Tamara or someone else the title and, and we get this report and we send it to you and you take a quick look at it. For the most part, I feel like everyone's just kind of like, oh, okay, as long as you see your name, it's no big deal. But so somewhere there can be hidden issues and this is just the trend that you're seeing. Yeah. It's terrible. And I think that, hey, you know, if you're concerned, just reach out. If you have an agent you've worked with, if you don't and you just want a title report, reach out to me. Happy to get that for you. We're here to serve and this is just important to stay protected. So everybody, I want to thank you for watching uh, this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions concerning title, or again, as I just said, if you want to get a, an update on your title and you're not currently working with an agent or you can't find your past agent, or you're just like, I'm just curious, reach out. My information is below. We'll talk. I'll go ahead and get that for you. It's not a problem. We're here to serve. We're here to help. And that's what this is all about. So thank you guys. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. Click that bell for updates. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.